Hey guys, Sims Dim Gaming here, back with a quick video. I've played the Evil Dead game for quite a while now, and I've been enjoying playing Survivor and Demon. However, there is a few things that make Demon less fun, and I'm just going to go over them quickly now. The game so far is definitely balanced more towards the survivors. Here's just a couple of reasons and things I've seen. So the spawns for the survivors. I know it's RNG and this probably can't be fixed, but you can find one or two of the map sections in the first two minutes of the game. And you have a 30 minute time limit to do three map sections, a book page, a dagger, and the final two stages, which is plenty. I know it's RNG and they probably can't control where you spawn and then where the pages spawn because it's randomized, but if they could figure out a way to make it so where you spawn with survivors, it has a radius around you that it doesn't spawn the pages, I think that would fix it. I'm guessing it's easier said than done though. Once you find the three map sections, you then have the two blue objectives. Once you go up to a blue objective and activate it, the demon then gets a boost on their points so they can place enemies quicker. That's fine, however, if the survivors then manage to finish one of those objectives, everyone on their team respawns. So for example, if you're the demon and you knock down three out of four players and then they eventually do the blue objective, all of their players get resurrected. Bear in mind as well, it also moves you as the demon really far away from that objective and puts you somewhere random in the map. I feel like because it puts you somewhere else as the demon in the map once they complete that objective, they shouldn't get resurrected as they can then move straight towards the next objective whereas you have to be in another part of the map. Trust me when I say as a survivor you have ample time to resurrect or go and take your dead player souls to the altar because the demon gets moved by far away. Myself and a couple of my friends have had instances where two players will go off and do one objective and two players will go off and do another objective and then they get resurrected anyway so I feel it takes a lot of the risk reward away from the survivor players and it just makes them have an easier time. Another issue personally is possession. So what I mean by possession is, for example, four survivors are driving along in one of the cars and you take it over. Personally, I think it takes too many points to take it over. It takes 100 possession points, which is quite a lot. Then they can get out of the car and just hit you once and then they get the control of the car back. Then that means you have to fly around and try and find some of the energy points that the demon uses to gain those points back. Also, if you possess one of your units, doesn't matter where they are or what they're doing, if you unpossess them, they just die. So for example, if you take over one of your elites and they're half health and then you unpossess it, it just kills it. Which is a bit silly, to be honest, because obviously it costs points to place that. Maybe you want to jump off of possessing that unit to then go and place more, for example. It just means that you waste a whole unit and then you have to go and fly around and get more energy again. Bear in mind if you're on one of the blue objectives, you do regen points quicker. But on the early game, it really doesn't help you. They're pretty much the main points. There's not much to fix or to look at in my opinion. I just don't want this game to end up like Resident Evil Resistance. That had a lot of promise and nothing got done about it. It was all about the survivors and it just made people not play the opposite side of the game so no one had anyone to play against. That's it for the video guys. To be honest the Evil Dead game had a really good launch, the servers have been quite stable, there have been some fluctuations with the latency but nothing too serious. Like I said I just don't want it to end up like other games. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you share the same feelings as I do on the game let me know in the comments below. This is Sim Dim Gaming. And I'll see you in the next one.